This park gets a lot of use and I love that. Um, and I would like for it to stay that way <laughs> and be safe. It's one of the city's most popular and the reaction from the community as LMPD increases patrol at Louisville's Cherokee Park in the Highlands. It says they are looking for a man who they say is responsible for attempted attacks near the park's trails. The council member overseeing that district has been in talks with police on extra measures taken at this time. Isaiah Kim Martinez talked with park goers today. Councilwoman Cassie Chambers Armstrong tells me she's spoken with an LMPD major who's been canvassing this area looking for more details in this very strange case. And they told me that they had been there all morning sort of looking, seeing if they could find out information, if they could find this person um, that they believed might be responsible for the attacks. Chambers Armstrong oversees the district that includes Cherokee Park, a large and popular spot for those traveling on bike or by foot, like Sally Wilson who lives on Cherokee Road. A friend called me and said she heard on the radio. Right now, the general public is relying on a description from police on who they say approached park goers over the weekend. That was wearing a, a mask, an N95 mask, and chasing people threateningly. And reportedly tried to attack them using and a taser and pepper spray. LMPD says witnesses describe the man as of Indian descent with a dark complexion wearing dark clothing. They tell us the incidents were repeated both on Friday and Saturday night between 830 and 930. We're told those who ran into the man got away unharmed. Police haven't reported any injuries. Come here probably every day either on a bicycle, a car or on foot. Wilson, like several folks Tuesday, took advantage of a rain free mid afternoon. I was never afraid to come over here um, and didn't give it a thought until recently. She and others say they saw extra officers on site patrolling and talking with police. Chambers Armstrong tells me they're working to get a handle on the situation and as to whether there's a public danger. My understanding from my conversations with LMPD is that the general public, um, while they should certainly be keeping an eye out and they should be aware of their surroundings, they should not feel unsafe going to the park. And for right now, all we have is a description of the man. Police are working to better pinpoint details. In Cherokee Park, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.